morning in Sue's Dog of my garden right at this moment in time. Um, it's the 4th of December 2023 and I have been doing some strimming outside the front of the, uh, the building in the bed at the front and I'm just going to rake it up now what I was just doing. It's a lot milder today, the weather has been really really cold but it seems to have warmed up quite a lot so everything's melted now and um, yeah the pond's melted the next bit I'm going to do is just um, tidy up around the pond but I won't do that today I'm just doing a little bit of strimming out the front I've run out of um, strimming time so I'm just going to get my rake if I can remember where I put it um, yeah so they're cutting the uh, forest across the road uh, over there I'm still not sure who has the license I'm going to find out and I will let you know who's got the license felling of the trees which we knew was going to happen um, at some point but nobody told us that it was going to happen there was no letter put through the letterbox to say it had started or how long it's going to take or anything like that so it's like from, from our point of view, having this business opposite where this tree felling is going on, we just need to know how it's going to affect us, basically. So that's what I want to find out. I want to know who's got the license and how they're going to be removing the trees um, because we're on the A470 here. So it's not, not a really good uh, access road. And also, where they've, where they've made a path going up, um, wouldn't be very safe for lorries so I don't know what the ins and outs of it are but I want to find out and I just need to like to know so when we have guests here we can say oh this is what's going on over the road because they'll want to know because when people come they see what there's something going on and people will ask because people that's what people do people ask questions and you have to ask questions otherwise you don't know what's going on where you live so I'm going to find out and uh, probably today um, because we did try and find out last week but Simon was too busy doing other stuff so we're going to try and find out today but as of yet we still don't know but I have looked up who owns the license but they said that, that it's not them so I'm a bit like well somebody's got the license to fell the trees so we just need to know how it's going to affect us that's all okay so I'm just going to carry on with my video now and uh, I'll see you in a minute because I'll just show you what I just strimmed. I'm just going to tidy it up now and then I'm going to go in because I'm going to go and do some DIY. Okay, show you the Bye. pond area before we stop. So look at it now. So this is after it's been really, really cold and frosty. But the verbena are still going to seed. So I'm going to get these off now. I think they should be all right. Well, sorry about that. My partner just come out. Um, so we look at the state of the pond area. So it is all oh, Ricky fell in the water. I couldn't get him out the other day because it was all iced over, and I couldn't get him out. He was wedged in now. I think I might take him out of here and get hold of him. I think I just broke my glasses in my pocket. Oh, still icy. It's still icy. The fish won't come out. I think I just broke my glasses. Uh, yeah, I did. I just broke my glasses that I use for doing strimming. It's because there's uh, this in my pocket <laughs> and I just leant over and it just smashed. I just felt that. I've got plenty of other glasses. I'd better find them. Right, I'm trying to get the fish out. The, still, the water is still massively frozen there. Still really frozen there. I'm going to take this indoors and put Ricky in the polytunnel. And I'll go and put my frog in the polytunnel. I might come back and get my little my little uh, my little butterflies. I might take them in as well and put them all in the polytunnel for the winter so they don't get all ruined. Yeah, because this is the thing with this sort of 
you know, once it gets winter, you need to look after your stuff. So, that's what I'll do right now. I'm going to just put all these things in the polytunnel and then I'll show you where I'll strip. So, I've strewn the whole of this. I can't find my rake, so I think it's locked in the garage and I'm not getting the key. So, I've just cleared up the mess that I pulled out, like all the dead ferns, and I've strewed it all. It looks a bit of a mess, but it'll be all right once it. Uh, the wind blows on it a bit but that's it that's what I've done I've trimmed all that we've got a nice heather there flowering so I need to clear up all down there and um, clear all those weeds out and get all that mess out of there so I cleared all that bit there but I need to get down there so I'll do that another day I've done enough outdoor work now so now I'm gonna go indoors and do some indoor work so I'll see you in the next video uh, Okay, I'll just say goodbye because that's, so the, that's end the end of this video. video. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like and a thumbs up. And could you tell me if there's tree felling around where you are? And did you get told that it was going on? Um, you know, did you get some advance notice so you can prepare yourself? Or do they just do it and not bother to tell you? Which is what's happened here. <laughs> So it's right opposite where we live basically so tree fell in i don't know how long it's going to go on for but i'm sure i will find out anyway thank you for watching please give me a like and a thumbs up i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one okay and i'll let you know what's going on with the tree fell in opposite okay bye for now bye